Hey everyone, today I have kind of a weird collective haul. Hopefully you're down for that. It's Target, Ulta, and Zara. I haven't shopped at Zara in so long. I don't know what got into me, but I bought a bunch of t-shirts. And Target, I don't need to explain that. Ulta, don't need to explain that one either. I have a problem. You guys support that. You guys maybe have a problem. I support that too. This is a vicious cycle. We're both participating and neither one of us want to get off this merry-go-round anytime soon. So here we are. I'm glad you're here. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If this is your first video you've ever watching from me, like what? Hello, I'm Leanne. Subscribe, hit the bell so you get notifications. I love that you're here. Let's look at the stuff. Should we do Target first? I don't know. Okay, fine. Let's do Target first. I actually got some clothing items. Well, I don't know if they count as clothes. You wear them on your body, so they're kind of like clothes, but they're also like loungewear. They could almost be like PJs. Grant called one of these things a house coat, which I am against. <laughs> I felt personally <laughs> attacked when he said this looked like a house coat because I've never had a house coat. I've had robes, robes, but I wouldn't say this is a robe. It could be a house coat, but we're not calling it a house coat, okay? <laughs> How do you define a house coat? Did your mom, grandma, aunt, whoever, uncle, I don't know your life, wear a house coat? Do you know what I'm talking about? A house coat? Is that a South thing? Is that an everywhere thing? I don't really know. I only know what I know. I've seen a house coat and I don't think this is it. This is like a, a long sweater for the home. It's super soft. You probably can't even tell what's going on because it is so flowy and shapeless. Um, I did get it in a medium large. I wanted me and Luna to both be able to wear this because literally anytime I'm wearing like a jacket or robe or anything like that, Luna wants to get inside it. She thinks it's a blanket for both of us. That's okay with me. It is so soft. The brand is uh, Jillian and O'Malley. Um, it has a hood. I should just put it on for you guys. Yes, I am not dressed fall whatsoever. I have not accepted that it's fall, mostly because it's still like over 90 degrees outside. I'm in Texas, it is what it is. It's still summer. I'm still dressing like I'm going to camp, basically. <laughs> so here it is. It is so soft and so stretchy and I have to go like all the way over here to show you the whole thing. It has pockets, it's long sleeves, it even has a little hood for your, you know, Saturday morning ritual sacrifice. It's a little big. This is a really strange purchase for me. I'm not so much of like a loungewear person. I don't know why, I should be, but it's fall, I'm getting old and I'm trying the loungewear. I'm wearing a house coat. Somebody give me a grandchild because it's going down. Not for the ritual sacrifice. I know I just put on the hood, but like, don't panic. I love this. I talked about it for way too long. If you yourself are looking for one of these like lengthy sweaters for the home, this is a good option. I recommend it. Okay, I also got these pantalones. They are a gray, almost like a see-through gray. So they're really lightweight and comfy and they're just kind of roomy and aimless. I don't really like how these fit. I'm thinking about taking them back. The brand is Grayson Threads Sleepwear and they had shorts and they had a top that went with it. It's really, really cute, but I don't know. I just didn't like how it fit. Okay. Ooh, I know what I want to show you next. It's right here. I almost missed it. I have been in love with these shoes and it's been so long since I've gotten shoes from Target. You guys know if you've been watching my channel any length of time at all, I have a problem when it comes to Target and I go way overboard and I've been trying to reel it in, but these shoes were not a mistake. I am absolutely in love with them. I've worn them a whole bunch since I got them just a couple weeks ago, I guess. The brand is Mosmo and the style is called Tilly and the color is a navy. I actually didn't know these were navy <laughs> in the store when I bought them. And like I was at the register and I was like looking at them lovingly because I was so excited about them. And I discovered they were navy and I halfway wanted to put them back because I don't really do navy so much it's i don't know i feel like either you are a black person or you're a navy person you know what i mean and i am a person that likes to wear black that's what i meant there was a whole moral dilemma i don't have to go into it i ended up getting them and i love them i don't even care if i'm wearing black with them and they don't make sense i like the star i oddly really like this big thick sole i usually am not attracted to tennies that look like this do you call them tennies do you call them sneakers? These are, I feel like these are not sneakers. These are sneakies or these are tennies. <laughs> what do you call them? Tennis shoes. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Next really big thing. 
it's not really big, but it's important to me. And I feel like it solved a very big problem in my life that I've been having for a very long time. I am not a socks person. I don't like socks. I don't like my socks to show. Like, I hate it. I will let them show. I don't really care if I'm like working out. Like, I really don't care what I will look like at all when I'm working out. I should probably work on that, whatever. I've got a lot of things to work on that's low on the list, but I found these socks. Actually, I found these like a month ago. And then when I went back, I like stocked up and I got a lot more. The brand is Peds Ladies and it says indulge your feet. They're just basically some of those no-show, ugly, stupid socks. Like I hate no-show socks. And half of the reason why I hate no-show socks is because they always come off in my shoe, but these are better. They don't come off my feet and they're thicker and they're comfier and they actually make a whole bunch of different kinds. Some of them have built-in little pads for the ball of your foot. It varies. They have a whole bunch of different kinds. I went way out on a limb with these. These are kind of ridiculous and obviously I haven't tried them yet. I got some mules and sometimes I get a little like sweaty sticky in there and it's not the best feeling. And so I thought, hey, why not? Let's try it. These are the toe covers. <laughs> Aren't these ridiculous? And they almost look like little pantyhose, but they're supposed to just go over your toes. So these could definitely come in handy with pumps or slides, not slides, not slides, not slides. Oh, I'm like picturing that. Actually, I wanna put them on my feet right now. Why have I been holding out? Okay, let's just see. Guys, are y'all ready to see my foot? I'm disgusting. Oh, oh, it like barely covers any of your foot. No. Okay, maybe my foot's just like too big. I don't know how this would ever stay on. This is a scam. Look at how much it, okay. I have huge feet, so maybe that's the reason. I got size five to 10, which like how to, how does that work? But what I can recommend, and actually really regret not putting these in my favorites video because I have fallen in love with these. These are some of the extra cushy, cushy ones. They're like super thick. I could not recommend these more. I bought so many pairs already and it feels like an answer to my prayers, except for these guys. These are kind of disgusting and ridiculous. Stop laughing at me. Okay, I know I'm not a sock person, but I have like an extensive collection of socks and a lot of them are Halloween. I don't know why, but those are like the funnest ones to me. And I got these really cute cat socks that have like planets and stars. And this cat is an astronaut. It's fallen its dreams. Can you see it? This cat is inspiring to me. So I had to have these socks. Here is an, ooh. Ooh, this was a lovely find from the dollar section. Lately, I've been good. I haven't been going in the dollar section. I haven't been buying a bunch of crap I don't need, but I'm gonna go ahead and say I needed this. It's basically just like a really cute pad of paper. It was $3 and it just says agenda across the top. It's pink paper with red lines. I love writing down lists and writing down notes, but the problem is I buy a whole bunch of like really cute notebooks and then I have my planner and then I have things like this and they're like all everywhere and I just have a million scraps of paper with a million ideas and lists and it gets really disorganized but I don't know how to stop. Oh, I also got some of these little cotton rounds. Not very interesting. All right, next up, I like kind of found myself in the kitchen section. I'll show you why in just a moment. I found these really cute coasters and they're like half marble, half wood and I really, really like them. I'm not like so super into the marble trend, but I like this. I also found this extra large ice cube, ice cube tray. <laughs> I'm gonna get some extra large ice cubes. I don't know why, but I'm like fascinated by those and I'm very excited that I will be able to have them at home. Okay, this was a poor decision, but I wanted it, okay? You know what I really want though? I want the big circle ice cubes. Have you ever seen those? Have you ever like ordered a drink and you get a big like sphere of ice? I want that. I don't know how they do that and I want it. Okay, so the reason why I was in the whole kitchen section is because I had a little idea. So I got Invisalign. I don't have my Invisalign in right now. I take it out when I record my videos because I don't like the way I sound. I can hear it. I don't know if you guys can. I feel like you can. It's just annoying. I know I'm not supposed to take it out, but just don't tell anybody, okay? Thank you. Can you be on my team? Anyway, I got Invisalign. I got engaged. I've got these things. And a lot of times I'm taking these things off like next to the sink, downstairs in my kitchen or up here. Actually, like I have a little ring holder up here, but I had the idea that I could get like little sauce bowls or something. So it would be like a designated area to put the Invisalign, to put the ring. Okay, the real, real reason for this is I had a scare. It was 
It was a very frightening moment in my life. I woke up really early. I was going to the gym and I didn't have my contacts on. I was like getting my tea and my breakfast and all of that. And I took off my Invisalign and I put it down on the counter. And when I went to get it to put it back in, it had gone into complete invisible mode and I freaked out. I literally like went through the garbage because I thought, oh no, maybe I accidentally like put it in a paper towel and threw it away. Oh, did I knock it into the sink? And then it went into the disposal. I put my hand into the disposal. That is like, the anxiety that I felt as I put my hand into the disposal. Ah, it was awful. It wasn't in there, obviously. Later, after I'd put my contacts in, hello Leanne, I found it and they were just like sitting on my counter. Anyway, that's why the sauce dish idea came about. We'll see what happens. I also found these cups and I think they were on sale, but I just thought these were really pretty. Ew, seeing them in the light, they are filthy. They're kind of like a rose tinted glass and they're really pretty. I got four of them. I don't know, I just thought they were pretty. Okay, that was everything from Target and now it's time to move on to Ulta. I actually went to Ulta twice recently. I did not even plan to go the second time. I was with Bunny and she needed to go get a hair dryer and then things happened. So one of the first things that kind of sucked me in and it made me finally just like go get one of those bags and start filling it, filling it with shame, is this Disco Kitten Illuminating Diamond Peel Off Mask. I really like peel off masks. This one, however, I've only used it once, so I can't say much of anything, but I feel like I wanted this one to be a little bit more intense. I don't feel like it was like really ripping off my skin, which is what I like. Really, if I'm honest, the packaging is what sucked me in. Honestly, everything in this line is so cute. I love the name, Disco Kitten. I don't know, I love everything about this except for the actual performance of the product, which unfortunately is very important. Okay, next up I got something else that is potentially very silly. It is the Real Techniques Miracle Face and Body Sponge. It's basically just like the original Real Techniques face sponge, but much bigger. And this one is really dirty. Hmm, that's not what I like to see. Yeah, it looks like it like maybe fell on the ground. This is the first time I've opened this. Uh, hmm, I don't know what happened there. This was like not opened or anything. I like to bring my foundation like all the way down my neck and I like to kind of cover up the veins that really stand out like right where my neck and my chest meet. I have like really green veins and I thought this would kind of help shorten the job. I don't know, this one's really dirty. Next up, I don't I got this like really cute potpourri. This is the Before You Go Toilet Spray in Tropical Hibiscus. I have tried this before. I talked about it in my most recent empties video and this is a really cool little combo pack. I, I would say it would be great for a holiday gift and it's a special value. It comes with almost like a perfume atomizer or that's how I'm thinking of it. You know, if you wanna poop on the go. So here's the one that you keep at home in your bathroom. I wonder how it smells. Uh, it's really flowery. I don't know. I don't know if I love this fragrance, but it's okay. It's better than the alternative. And I don't know how this will work. It's basically like a perfume atomizer, but for poopery. Okay. So I also got the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance Wear Liquid Foundation. It has SPF 20. And I talked about this in my most recent favorites video, my September favorites video. I won't go all in on it again, but I love it, obviously. It was in my favorites video and a lot of you guys suggested this foundation to me. Thank you so much because I really, really like it. I have it on my face right now mixed with another foundation actually. Okay, y'all know how I feel about Batiste and dry shampoo in general. I need it, I want it, and Batiste is amazing. It's super affordable and this is a new scent. Well, it was new to me. I hadn't seen it before and it's called the Sweet and Delicious Sweetie and it has really cute little, what do you call those things? They're like the little, Russian doll within a doll within a doll, like doll inception. And I really like this scent. Um, they also have like giant sizes. Ooh, and look, I found this one again. I thought it was like limited edition. You could never find it again. This is the Neon Lights Pomegranate and Jasmine. I really like this scent too. Ooh, okay, okay. Here's something I really need to use like yesterday. <laughs> this is also by Meanbox Blackhead Killer Nose Pack. I have like, a blackhead problem. Like it's bad. I'd show you if I wasn't embarrassed and 
hopefully this can help. You know what I really wanna do is go on Dr. Pimple Popper. Like, I don't feel like I truly, actually, I do have a situation I could totally show them. We don't have to talk about it, but do you guys watch Dr. Pimple Popper? I know I've talked about her before. Just the other day, I got sucked in. Like, it's not like an everyday thing for me. It's just like once in a while, it's just like, mm, I wanna see what she's doing lately. I know what she's doing lately. Anyway, I'm looking forward to using this. Ooh, okay, I don't wanna forget this. I actually got this a while ago, but I did get it at Ulta. It's the Too Faced I Want Candy Candy Johnson Too Faced collab palette. I showed you guys in my vlog whenever I found it, I wanted like everything. I wanted the banana powder and it was completely out of stock, but I did get this and I've been using it and I've really been liking it. I love the colors. Whoa, it smells delicious. I don't know, I just love it. I love Candy Johnson also, so I'm probably biased. She was like the original beauty YouTuber for me. Like that's how I was introduced to like makeup videos basically. And I fell in love with her. I fell in love with her personality. I feel like I learned so much from her and that was a million years ago now. I watched YouTube a long time before I started my channel, um, but she was definitely like the original, original inspiration for me. Like, and she's just, I don't know. She's just a ball of sunshine. Shine. I love her. I want to see everything good in the world happen to her and for her. And so I had to support. I really like it. The black is super black. It's great for like using as like a little liner. And I just love all the colors. This is a really nice mix. I love that it kind of looks like an old timey like candy tin. And I just love the packaging. I love the design. The only thing that I really, really don't like and I don't like it every single time I use it is there's no mirror right here. I'm sure I'm not the first to say it, but whenever I grab a palette like this and it's kind of an all in one palette, which is something I really, really, really love and look for when I use eyeshadow palettes, like I can pick this up and not use any other shadows for the whole look. I hate to also have to have like another mirror in my hand. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe I'm being picky, but that's just how I feel. Oh, okay, actually there is a little bit more from Ulta. And this is also from the I Do Care line. This is the little white kitty cat headband and it's really cute. And I would put it on right now, but I think I'll get makeup all over it. It's just really cute. And in my mind, actually, look at me, I'm putting it on anyway. Oh, that looks, that looks fabulous, Leanne. I don't know. Ooh, you are killing it. This is not how you're supposed to wear it, but I wanted to show you what I look like, okay? Okay, next up we have Zara. And like I said, I haven't shopped at Zara. I haven't ordered from Zara. Like I've had no contact with Zara in so long. I don't really know why. I got this t-shirt from Zara. So this is technically part of the haul. Trust the future, a little cactus desert scene. I like it. I like ringer tees. But as you can see, I got a couple more t-shirts. I don't know what's going on with me. I'm just in a t-shirt mood lately. Okay, so the first one I got is nice and roomy. It's black and it's got like a little solar system situation on the front. And it's just casually a little bit bedazzled here and there. I don't hate it. I actually really like it. And it's super comfy. Like I just kind of want to be comfy. Like who am I becoming? The loungewear? the comfy t-shirts, like, am I going down a bad road? Like, promise me that you will intervene if I start looking like a blob, I don't know. Anyway, I still like the t-shirt, I'm not apologizing. The next one that I got, this one's also really cute, and it says, I need more space, and it's in red glitter. I've been into red lately, you know, with the rest of the world, and I just love the kind of like retro vibe font and the little lady astronaut. I feel like she gets me. Okay, next up, this one was a mistake. I'm just gonna say that right up front. It is not cute in person. A real bright sequined centaur on the front, and that's like, a Sagittarius thing. I'm a Sagittarius person. I'm all about it. Are there any Sagittarius people out there? Would you guess that I was a Sagittarius? I know I've talked about it before, but if you didn't know that, would you have guessed it? I'm just wondering. I'm like right on the line around like uh, Scorpio and Sagittarius, but I definitely identify a lot with Sagittarius. Um, but like I was saying, this was a mistake. Kind of reminds me of some of those like little like DIY grandma t-shirts. This could easily have like puffy paint art on it. I think I need to send this back. I can admit when I'm wrong. Next up, I got a pretty plain t-shirt, but I love how this one fits. It's pretty lightweight and it's also stretchy. It's just a red and black, you know, Freddy Krueger <laughs> shirt, basically. I like it. Freddy Krueger is one of my style icons. 
it is what it is. And the last t-shirt I got, um, I don't know what I was thinking, but I just love this. It's super roomy, it's super comfy. Okay, that was a lot. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me. If you like this video, if you like videos like this, give this video a thumbs up so I will know. Also, you can find me on social media. It's Leanne Says Everywhere and I love talking to you guys. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for notifications so you can see every time I upload. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. I think like Luna licked the lens of this camera. I'm an amazing dog owner and amazing camera owner all at once. How do I do it? Uh, I nearly had a heart attack. Heart attack canceled. <laughs> Help me. Ever just like feel like your hair is like trying to strangle you?